Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Sims 101, my tutorial series where we go through a week in the life of a sim. So in the last episode we met Vincent, we created him and we also created his double doodle, Yogi Bear, who's a little adorable little puppy. And in this episode we are going to furnish his house because as we left him he had just moved into a new place. So you're probably wondering, why am I on the loading screen? Well, I just thought I'd show you how to load up your game after you've saved it from the last time. So you just click on load game and it will bring up all your saves. As you can see, I have lots of games on here. Um, I play obsessively. There's my, um, my human experience Let's Play series. And I have a few other things going on. My kids also play The Sims as well. I mean, nothing to do with me, of course. <laughs> and um, so yeah, lots of, um, lots of saves. But your most recent save will be the one on top. There's Vincent and Yogi. That's up here. You press play. After you press play, you're presented with your loading screen. Your and this will be where your where you where your sim lives. So Vincent lives in Willow Creek. That's his house there. It's identified with the green plum bob, as opposed to the greyed out ones. The greyed out ones means that there's somebody living in there, but we haven't played them, right? So you click on your household, and you press. Oh, my mouse has disappeared. <laughs> That's not good. Not a good start. And you press play. Okay, so we're in our game now. There's Vincent, there's Yogi, and they're just waiting for us. So what we want to do before we start, we want to furnish the house. Because Vincent's not going to be the focus today. It's going to be the house. So some people love going into The Sims and making houses and doing all that stuff. I am not brilliant at it. I will, I will admit, 100%. I'm not good, all right? I will put in the basics. But, you know, I can try and make things look pretty. I can at least do that. So down here, you have what your sim has at the moment, their budget. What their budget? Their bank account. And this is what Vincent has, 8,337 simoleons. And we want, to, we want to give him a nice house. We want to give him some, some, some pretty decent stuff. So there are different ways you can do this. You can delete everything out of it and start again. You can just take out certain things. Um, most of the time you will get, get your sim a job, which we will cover in another video, not in this one. Or you can put in a cheat and you just type in a phrase and it will give him um, 50,000 simoleons. It depends how you want to play. Some people like to start from the beginnings. There's sometimes you'll start from scratch, as in my um, my human experience video where Amara started with nothing, uh, with zero simoleons and a blank canvas, nothing in her house, and we start from scratch. Um, there's other games that I've played where I thought, you know what, I just want to go in and make stuff and just make my sim happy. So I've given them, I've put in the mother load cheat. And, you know, go from there. Or, I, you know, there are other games where I've gone in and I have my sim, my sim started with, you know, a certain amount of money in their bank account. And I've gotten them a job, which we will cover in, in, in another... We'll make, we will actually, I think we'll cover that later in this episode. And, you know, you make your money that way. It's up to you. I mean, The Sims... As I keep saying, I know I'm going to sound a bit like a broken record, but it is it is so customizable and it's it is so up to you how you want to play it. There's no right way and no wrong way to play this game. Because I I know of some simmers who will go in and all they do is is create stuff. They will create homes, they will create sims, they will create clothes, they will create all kinds of stuff, and they never actually play the game. 
And then there's other people who will go in and they will just play. They'll play legacy stories and they will just build up their families for, you know, for for generations. And then there's other people that go in, they tell stories. They do. It, there's so many different things. It's so customizable. So, um, so yeah, how you play it is up to you. So in Vincent's case, I think what we're going to do, let's start selling some things. So you click on, I did that a little quickly, but up here where you have the couple holding hands, you can click on it. And if you hover over, it will tell you which mode you're going into. So when we click, when we were going to click on it from the live mode, um, it said build mode and the shortcut key for that is F2. Once you're in the build mode, and you hover over that thing again, it says live mode F1. So if you like to click, you can click that. If you like shortcut keys, you can use the shortcut key. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to see if we can get Vincent a better bed. We can get rid of the stuff in the spare bedroom because that's going to be his office slash computer room. Um, we can see if we can get rid of his his um, fridge and stove, cooker, and see if we can get him a better one. So, when you first go into build mode, you're presented with this screen. This shows all the rooms that you can buy to plop in. So, for example, if I wanted to buy this, a family room, I could click on it. Um, well, I don't have enough money, so I can't buy it. But you click on it, it will come up. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, I've just learnt something. You can actually click on stuff and it will show you what it is. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know you could do that. I've learnt something. But then when you click on it, if there's enough room on your lot, you can say where you want to put it. And you can put it in, you can rotate it, and, you know, you place it. And you get it in different colours as well. That is a pretty nice room. But I did not know you can hover over individual things and see what they are. So, all right, first room is Vincent's bedroom. So you have a little represent graphical representation of a house. And you have the styled rooms, which is what you open up in. If you hover over everything, it will show you. You've got the floor patterns, wall patterns, doors, windows columns that will spandrels i don't even know what span oh okay those are the things that stick out which is pretty cool um fences stairs you I mean you get the idea but what we what i usually go for is objects by room it's a lot easier for me to do that it's you know so then i know i'm not going to miss out anything when i go in a particular room because i do miss out something I always miss out something. So, okay, so we got the kitchen. We want to get him a stove. Something not too expensive, because he had the 400 simoleon yum cooker before. And if you hover over everything, it will give you a description, usually a very humorous description. And at the bottom, it will give you the stats. So the food quality is four, which means it'd be okay. Reliability is five, which means... It will break down sometimes, but not all the time. And it also gives you which skill it builds up, if it builds up a skill. And obviously, the higher you go, as in the in the amount that you pay for, then the better the, the object is. If the object has a red background, or and you will see that the fund, the, the cost of it is in red, when you hover over it, it will show you, you have insufficient funds, you can't buy it. But this is kind of like the thing you want to get. The, the, the kitchen, it's the schmapple set. They're unbreakable, the food quality is excellent, and, you know, they last forever. But we can't afford that. I think we'll get him a Cooking You Pro. And when you, when you click over it again, as in with the Creator Sim, you have the color, color swatches. So you can pick which one you want. I think we'll go for a light grey because everything else is that kind of colour and it clicks in. Oh, they've put in a smoke alarm. I don't like it. I think I'll move it up the wall 
there. So you click on it and then you can drag it up. Okay, we'll leave the sink. We need to get him a fridge. And I think they had the budget deluxe before. Mm, what's the difference apart from, you know, like 400 simoleons? I think we'll go for the for this fridge. And we'll go for a, a blue colour. Sometimes it's hard to see what colour color is in the house. If you change the lighting, if you click up here next to the bulldozer, you change the lighting, it will change the lighting in the house as well. So you can sometimes you can see things better. So those counters look kind of grey. Um, should we go for a dark grey? I think we'll go for a dark grey. That's one gripe that I have that nothing really matches. You will have things that are similar, but you don't have like matching stuff, which is annoying sometimes. Because you'll have the countertops, but then they're all one set of colours, but then the um, the appliances, you know, you you don't have an appliance that's this colour grey, and it's it just is just slightly off. Sorry, that's a bit of a rant of mine. But okay, so we will do that. So he's got his stove, he's got his fridge, he's got his stove. And we can leave the table. It's an okay table. It doesn't really need changing. The TV. Yeah. The thing is with the TVs, they're kind of expensive. Let's see. Room we want the living room. That's where the TVs are. You can also go by function as well. If you don't want to go by room. bit of lag there. When you click on show all it will show all the different categories. So TVs are in electronics. The next size TV, uh, that's the 500 simoleon one. The next size up is the nine, 900 simoleon. I think we'll change it. Sell. Click on it and you can put it there. And if you look at it and think actually it's a bit small. Also what you can do, while you're still holding it, click on the square right bracket, the one next to the enter key. And if you click on it once, it will increase the size of anything that you have selected like that. And then you let go and you've made the TV bigger. So now he's got a bit of a bigger screen and you can do that with anything. So for example, if I wanted to make the sofa bigger, I grab it, click on the right square bracket, the one next to the enter key. And all of a sudden it's bigger, which is quite funny. I mean, not everything you want to make bigger. I usually do that with the TVs to make them at least seem a bit more comfortable viewing. But if you do something and you think, you know what? I don't actually don't like that. You click on the left square bracket and it will bring it back down a size. And like I said, that comes in very handy. I've also seen that as a hack for if you wanted to put a car next to the house. So if I click on, there is a kid's car. Uh, there you go, pre-assembled model sports car. So let's say for example, we wanted to build this house, we wanted him to have a truck, even though we know that there are no trucks, there are no cars in the game, right? We click on it, we, you place it, but you don't let go of it. So you see the the cursor is still a clenched fist. To rotate it, you click the, let me see, above the full stop, you have a right arrow, you know, the greater than symbol. If you click on that, it will rotate it around. Is that the right way around? I think that's the right way around. And now it's the right way around. I can click on the right bracket and click up until I get the size that I want. I think that's about the right size. If I make that, no, I think that's a bit too big. I think that's about the right size. And now we have a full size truck next to the house. It's not, obviously it's not usable, but at least it gives it a bit of character. 
that's a I, I can't remember where I picked that up from but it's just a little just a little something because I'm not going to go into landscaping I can't do landscaping but you know it, it's just something to make make the house look a bit better so I think we're gonna leave that because you know Vincent needs a truck right back to the house furnishing so we have a TV we gave him something a bit bigger it's a bit blocky but you know it's um it's fine He's got his sofa, we'll leave the sofa. We don't need to change that. We might want to change the colour. If you want to change the colour of something that's pre-existing, you um, go up to this little um, tab up here, which gives you lots of little things that you can do. So the eyedropper, which means if you wanted to copy it, so for example, it will change to a little eyedropper. You click on something and it will copy it. So if you wanted to place, if you liked something that was in the house and want to place more of it, you can do that, right? But we don't need to make an eyedropper. But next to the eyedropper is the design tool. And you click on that, you click on your object, and it will give you all the color swatches. If it's something that it can't be used on, it will throw up an error message. So, and there you go, it cannot be used on this object but we want it for the sofa and we're going to make it white. I think white. Actually, no, that shade of blue. And then it fits with the furnishings. Okay. Can we change the, the garbage can as well? Yes, we can. But you can, there's a lot of things you can change. There are loads of things you can change and if you kind of get start going down that rabbit hole you find yourself changing all kinds of strange things but that's not what we're going to do i'm not going to go through everything because sometimes it's better to find out by yourself but i'm just showing you these are where all like the major things you can save things to your library you can move the lot on house if you wanted to you can bulldoze the house if you if you moved in and you realized you know i don't want this isn't what i want and I want to build from scratch. You can do that. But in the interest of time, because we don't have a lot of time, you could spend hours doing this. I have spent hours furnishing a house to my like to my Sims liking. Because my Sims talk to me and they always tell me what they want. And yeah, so I'll just listen to them and I'll furnish the house <laughs> as they want. So, right, we were going to make we don't need to do anything in the bathroom because the shower is adequate. Although, now I think about it, he has Yogi. Yogi is a pet. They need to be bathed. You can't do that in the shower, so we need to get him a bath. So let's sell the shower. And if we go to plumbing and tubs. And I think we can, we can go for the cheapest one, my secret spa. Oh, it's uncomfortable, though. I don't want to give him the uncomfortable moodlet. Yeah, we don't need that. So we go for the next one up, which is the superb soaker. Soaker. Soaker? Soaker. I can't write uh, words. They're hard. Okay. Um, a black top? Oh, that's so depressing. Uh, definitely not those colours. I guess the off-white. Pretty standard. And also... If you right click on your mouse with your mouse while the tub has been held or the object's been held, you can also rotate it. You don't have to use the key on the keyboard. So that's there. We'll leave that now. So then when he needs to bathe Yogi, he has the tub. He doesn't have to buy anything separate. Uh, what's he got in the bedroom? There is a bookshelf, which I think we will move out into... The main room and we need to move the trash can because I think the sim not the sim there'll be routing issues if I move put the trash can yeah I think that's probably why they put the bookcase in the bedroom okay let's move the bookcase to between the TV and the love seat that's not a full-size sofa it can only fit two people that's a love seat um 
Yes, so that's that. We moved the bookcase out. We have a dresser so that if we want to, we can click on it and we can change Vincent's outfits. I think I'm going to sell that and get a different dresser. Okay, so let's go to the bedroom. And we want a double bed. I'm not going to go for a single because, you know, eventually Vincent would like to find a partner. And I'm not going to go for the cheapest bed. Let's see, the double futon. I think that's probably the best we can buy. Yes. That is the best we can buy without getting negative moodlets. Apart from the air cushion double. The air cushion double is, but that is a camping bed. But the air cushion double is cheaper and is energy four stress release, stress relief one. The double futon is just energy four. I think they all give stress release. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. But I don't really think Vincent wants to be sleeping on an airbed. So let's pick a nice uh, purple. Yes, white and purple. I like that. So we put that in. We'll get him a nice dresser. Our wardrobe rack. I, I like that. I think he would have that. Let's just pick one. And actually, that's given me an idea. We can make, we can give him a walk-in wardrobe. And then I can show you some of the build stuff as well. So if we go back to build, walls and empty rooms, and you have all of these things. I'm not really going to go into much of it because like I said, it is, you know, you can go into it and you can play with it. But you need wall room, oh dear, wall tool B. I don't know why it has B, because there isn't an A. That's a bit strange. You'll also notice these things on the side. You have half walls and you have half wall trims. The trim is the bit that goes along the wall. So to give him a walk-in closet, you take your, you click on wall room, wall tool B, click on the guide next to it, and you can draw out by two draw across by two and then we go to doors and then we look for a door that would suit our purposes you don't even have to have a, a door you can use an archway if you scroll down because if you scroll over it will show you what you have what you can afford there's certain things that are locked they have a little lock in the corner and it will tell you what you need to do to unlock it so either it's um you need to create a club or more than likely it will be you need to reach a certain level in a particular career in order to get it okay keystone arch is there a double one uh wide entry frame okay this is the one that we would want let's make it blue to go at the bedroom there you go, and we have a walk-in closet. So if I put the walls up, um, is there, there has to be a, a, a button to put the walls up. Oh, it's up here in the corner. So yeah, I usually, I usually use the keyboard shortcut, which is the end and home key. But when you, when you have a look, you can see it's a walk-in closet. That's pretty cool, actually. And then if you cycle through, it will show you with the walls all the way down, the walls all the way up, or partly way up, cut away is what they call it. But it can be very useful when you're, you know, when you're do when you're trying to see how your Sims house is being built and so on. Okay, so we've built that, and we want obviously when we put in the walls, it's put in that kind of studded. Um unpainted wall if you want to copy what they have in the rest of the room you click on the eyedropper click on the wall and you can either go in panel by panel or hover over a panel 
Click on shift. Oh, that's the whole... Oh, because... Oh, it's open. I didn't realise it was open plan. That's why we could put that doorway in. If there was a doorway here, it would have... It would have... Um, it wouldn't put in because it will tell you that there's a blockage. Okay, well... On the outside, we can't do that because it's all open plan. It will turn everything out here blue. On the inside, if I just turn... And to turn, you right click on your scene and then drag your mouse. And that's how you turn it. But if you if I turn it, you can just see that these two walls and yes, these four walls, the two here on the side and the two on the front, they're not painted. And because it's an enclosed room, I can do this. Press shift and it will cover all the walls that are not covered. And it will tell you how much it's going to take away. And then you left click and you buy it. Okay, let's do these two. That's that. And let me bring the walls back down because that's really annoying. Right, so we've done that. Let's give him a light in there. They do have lights. Let's see. Oh, I didn't want to do that. If you've done something, you don't want to do it. I did the arrow up here to undo or control Z, whichever way you prefer. Right. Um, let's see. I want to put in a light. There is one light in the bedroom, which is this bedside lamp. I don't like that. I have found that the best lights are, let me see, by function, lighting, um, ceiling lamps. Is this kid's one? It gives off so much light for you know and it's really cheap it's like the cheapest thing in the game so i usually end up putting that in all my rooms because you know it's just brilliant and the thing is when you're playing your game you don't even see it i mean i guess only if you're a perfectionist and it's going to bug you then yeah you could you know you put in a light that you like but you know like i said you're not gonna i, I don't see it so i just put them in so for our walk-in closet, we can go for, I think I'll just put in another ceiling lamp. So there's our closet. I'm seeing light in that room, but I don't know if there was, Oh, well, there might be something on the wall. If I put the walls up, there might be a light on the, no, there isn't. There's no light in that room. That's pretty strange. Okay, put that. What did you do? Because uh, I was just on the edge. Let me move that across a little. And where else? Is there a light in the bathroom? Sometimes it's really hard to see what's going on. I think there is a light source in the... Yes, I can just about see it. It's a pity you can't... I, actually, I don't know if you can tilt the the um, the scene so that you can get into it better. Okay, they have one light. That's fine. And then there's a light out here. Alright, let's bring the walls back down. Oh! That's something that happens sometimes. You let go of the mouse and the screen will keep going. Alright, we have 5,000 simoleons left. So we've given him a closet. We've give Oh, we need to give him a mirror in his closet. So if we go to uh, decorations. And then you've got mirrors. I think he'd want a full length mirror. Because you need a full length mirror. And again, we'll make it blue. It's full-ish length. And we'll put it on the inside of his closet. And if you don't like where something is, oh, this wall, please, this wall, that's it. If you don't like where something is, you can press Alt. No, not Alt. You can, oh, I'm going to make myself a line. I can't remember how you move things up and down. I was just about to say you need to press Alt. But that, that will kind of slide it into position. Because when you don't press, when you don't have Alt selected, it will snap to a grid. 
but when you hold down alt then you can slide it closer i can slide it very close to the window i could put it over the window if i wanted to but if i'm not holding alt it snaps to a grid but there is a way to bring it there's certain things you can bring up and down i don't think it's I don't think it's everything, but you can bring them up and down the wall as well. It could be that there's not enough room for it to go up and down the wall, which is why it's not letting me do that. Okay, this side, please. Sometimes it is kind of hard to get your object where you want it to go. Okay, so. We've given him a closet, we've given him a bed. I think we will put Yogi's um, bed, now that we have this space freed up, we'll put her bed in here as well. So, pets, pet care, so I like using the auto feeder because then I don't have to remember to as often to, to feed my animal. These all got, no, these all got fishes. I don't know what's the difference to be, to be honest. One has fishes, one doesn't. But we don't want fishes. We'll give her a cute little pink one. We will give her some pet toys. You can buy a chest. Mr. Itchy's Chest of Wonders. And we will give her a bed. Where's her pet bed? Um, pet furniture? There you go. We'll give her a little mat to sleep on. Because she's a little dog. When she gets a bit older, when she gets bigger, then she can get a big mat. But, you know, we're working on a budget here. Okay, so that's Yogi taken care of. And the final thing is the office. It doesn't have to be brilliant. It doesn't have to be, you know, all flat, fancy and stuff. Surfaces, we need a desk. Let's give him a proper computer desk. Um, desks, there you go. Layered lacquer duck console. Should we go for the space saving? It doesn't really matter. I think we'll go for this one. And again. In blue, we need to give him a chair surfaces no not surfaces comfort desk chairs and oh that one goes which is good give them that and once you put a chair to a desk it will automate or a chair to a table i should say it will automatically go round to the uh or orientate round to where it should be Okay, we don't need that anymore. We need a computer. Electronics. Computers. We have El Cheapo here. 800 simoleons. We have a slablet. Um, we have a laptop. We'll give him a laptop. And of course, the, oh, there you go. I thought for a minute it wasn't going to go. So he has a laptop. He has his bed. We have the pet stuff. I really want to give him a different carpet in the bathroom. Uh, not in the bathroom, in the bedroom. I think we can do that quick. Um, Build. Floor patterns. And if you look over here, you have all different types carpet should we give him a patterned carpet heavy traffic what's this one if i click on eyedropper oh there you go plush comfort carpeting which is no that one can we just change the color i think we'll just change the color to a lighter blue so if you hold if you hover over a square and again you can click on shift and that will highlight the room. And we have re re refurnished, what refurnished? Recarpeted the bedroom. If you, if it was, because it was the same price, it was the same thing, there's no price difference. If I pick something that was more expensive, so 
that's four dollars, four simoleons. And do we have any other carpets? They're all the same. They're all the same price. Okay. Let's go to tile. Oh, there you go. This one is eight simoleons. So if I hover over it, it would show me the difference. So if I wanted to put that in, that will take out another 112 simoleons. But I don't want that. I'm just showing that as an example. Okay, so we've put in lights. We've made sure he has a, a fire alarm. He has his computer. He has a bed. He has pet stuff. We've still got a couple simoleons left over, which is fine. And we furnish Vincent's house. And before we leave him, because, you know, because of the, the nature of these episodes, because they're, you know, tutorial stuff, there's some things you can't rush. You know, it's getting a bit long, but before we leave him, we're going to get him a job. So to go back into, go back into live mode. And we click on Vincent. Uh, let's unpause you. And you click on the phone. And on the bottom of the phone, you have all these different tabs to do different things. All right, you're you're distracting me, Vincent. Hold on. So you have social, you have travel, you have work, you have household, and you have entertainment. We want him to get a job, so you click on work. Register with the Ministry of Labour. They have they had a new thing where you your sim before your sim would be just unemployed, and then if you didn't have a job, you'd be unemployed. That was it. Then they introduced something called the Ministry of Labour, where you can give your sim a job title, but they're not getting paid for that job. It's not like they're getting um, welfare money or anything. It is just so that you can give your sim a job title. So when he talks to other sims and they ask him, what do you do? He can say, I'm a domestic engineer. But it doesn't actually mean anything apart from just giving him something to be able to say. But we want him to find a job. Right, let's unpause you. <laughs> yeah, stop playing with Yogi. I know Yogi's cute and everything. But, you know, will you stop playing with Yogi? Really? Vincent? See, my sims never listen to me. All he wants to do is play with Yogi. Thank you. Find a job. Thank you, Vincent. Thanks for listening to me. So he'll go through the motions. And then you click on a career. Now, you can go through at your leisure and pick a career for him. You can either pick one. These four at the beginning like i said i have all the expansion packs all the stuff packs everything that is sims 4 i have it so these are careers that you can go in with the sim and you can do different things and you will follow them at work and then below that are the more traditional careers where they just go off to work and your game spins for a couple of hours so vincent let's see what do you want to do what do you look like you want to do there's some there's some where you can do things like work from home and so on. The social media um, career is one. The military is another. Culinary. I think we'll we'll, we'll make you, you look like you want to cook and stuff. We'll give you, put you in the culinary career. So you click on it. You can see how much your sim makes per hour. The highest paying job. It used to be tech guru. I don't know if there's any higher than that because the tech guru is 31 simoleons per hour. I don't think the military is pretty close. Culinary. Culinary is quite cheap. Criminal. Yeah, tech guru seems to be the. Yeah, the actor career is is something totally different. It will it has a different thing. So yeah, tech guru is actually the the most lucrative. So I'll make him a tech guru instead, because we want the money. We want him to make the monies, and click OK. Then it will tell you that he's entered the career. 
down here on the briefcase it will tell you when he starts work and if you click on it it will show you what he needs to do in order to to progress in that career so that's it for this episode vincent how could you go in and leave yogi out there yogi can't make it up the steps she's a puppy ah oh, never mind see that these sims they have a mind of their own so in today's video we we went and made vincent's house a little bit better put it more to his liking his taste and we got him a job. And the, the only reason why I did that right at the end of this episode is because it will take a couple of days for him to actually, you know, go and start his work. So we might as well get a head start on that. And in the next video, what we will do, we will spend the day with Vincent and I will show you how to keep him alive. So that's it for this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe for more great content. It will help to grow my channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.